and Rainbow Falls and normally this road is closed for most of the year and you gotta take a shuttle but for two or three weeks in October they open it up for cars uh, this year though it's under construction so it's in pretty bad condition uh, and it's super narrow um, but hopefully it's gonna go well and I almost turn around I almost turn around because the the beginning of the road there was the worst um, but then the girl at the entrance station where you show your permit or you get a pass was like oh it's not that bad it's on and off it's like paved and then some of it is gravel and then paved and Hello from the parking lot uh, at Reed's Meadow. Um, so this is the trailhead for Rainbow Falls and normally you wouldn't be able to park here or to drive up here unless you were staying um, at the resort which is closed right now. Uh, but for a couple of weeks, sometimes three weeks in October, they open up the road for cars. Um, it's in horrendous condition, but it's doable very slowly. Uh, so anyway, let's head out to Rainbow Falls. The trail is that way. So this is what it says here. 2.6 miles round trip, about three hours. So I better get going. I wasn't actually counting on spending three hours on this trail. I was hoping to get it done in about 45 minutes. Um, I guess that was not very realistic. I don't know, I've been here before and I didn't remember it having taken me that long. is going crazy about the foliage and I honestly think it's because it's temporary I think if the leaves were always yellow or like most of the time yellow and we would get green just like for um, a few weeks during the year I think that's what we would go crazy about but I personally love when we have this mix of green and yellow and orange and red I think that's the prettiest that creates Rainbow Falls. There's 
so this is a little viewing area here as you can see there's a little balustrade here and then there are the falls and there's some stairs that go down to the bottom of the falls so i'm gonna go down there in a few minutes ready to head back and I really hope that we'll have time to go over to the most close pile uh, because it's cloudy I think it's going to get dark earlier than um, the sunset time or you know it's going to feel dark a lot earlier. okay so it took me 28 minutes to get out here but I think it's going to take me longer to go back because we're coming down uh, when well, we're coming out to the waterfall and then going back is a climb not just from here from the bottom of the falls but whew, uh, the rest of the hike as well all right up and up and up we go Okay, so I made it back to the parking lot at Reed's Meadow for the resort and it's super cloudy. There is another hour until sunset, but I'm still going to stop by at Devil's Post Pile. Hopefully, hopefully it's still going to look okay and not be too dark and hopefully I'll make it back on the road in daylight.